Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today we're going to unbox one of the most anticipated devices of 2011, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. So let's get to it. Okay, so we'll just cut open this package. It looks as though Customs may have already wanted to play with this device while they had it in their possession. So uh, let's just cut this open here. And then slide off the device. Okay, so the box is a little mangled, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see here. It shows that we have Wi-Fi, BGNN. We have our 5 megapixel camera, 4 inch screen, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, uh, the PlayStation symbol, 3G HSPA. On this side, we have the Sony Ericsson emblem. And let's see here. What else do we have? Just the PlayStation, PlayStation certified Android device. So uh, let's open up this bad boy. Okay, so inside the box we have our Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, and we'll just set that to the side for one second. Underneath this piece of cardboard we have our 3.5 millimeter headphones, and that's a stereo headset. And we also have a micro USB syncing charge cable and our European charger. This is the European version. And let's see what we have in here. Uh, minimal documentation. Of course, we are not sure if this came with all of the paperwork. So we'll just set that to side and get to the uh, guts and glory of this unboxing, which is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. And let's see if I can power this device on. Okay, so there we go. So the device feels really good in hand. It feels kind of similar to a PSP Go. The buttons feel a little bit better, and I'm wondering how gameplay will work with these uh, directional pads here, opposed to the the toggle button, the joystick that's on the uh, PSP Go. So let's see. We'll just wait for this to load for one second. Okay, so while that's loading, we can compare this to a couple of other devices. We have a PSP Go right here, and they're about similar in size. They're the same thickness, it looks as though. They're the same thickness. We can open up this device here and open up this one. You can see how the button configurations are a little bit different. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how games are played with these uh, touch pads opposed to this joystick. You can also compare this to a iPhone 4, and it's much thicker than the iPhone 4. Of course, we do have this game pad here. Okay, so this is the German version, so uh, I'm going to have to figure out where I need to go to change all these settings out, and it looks as though I'm right here. So we'll just pick English for the United States. And then I'm guessing that means to accept. So stay tuned for the hardware and software tours coming up next. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching.